Hello everybody and welcome to TechLearn. In this short video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install Apache, MySQL and PHP, in short the LAMP stack on Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7. You can use this tutorial to install it on Fedora or CentOS 7 also. So the first thing is we can open our terminal and we will log in as root. Once you are root, you need for this tutorial you should have your yum configured properly. If you have if you have not configured your yum or you don't have any repositories, you can watch my video on how to uh, configure yum through subscription manager or uh, how to create your own uh, yum repository locally. I'll place both those videos link in the description of the video. The so first we will install Apache. To install Apache, simply type yum install httpd So installing from yum versus installing from I RPM is pretty easy. In yum, you don't need to resolve the dependency while as while if you're installing it through an RPM, it, you, it will ask you for dependencies. And if you have dependencies, it will take a lot of time to install it. So just press Y and it will resolve the dependencies as well as it will install your Apache server. So once it is complete, we will start the Apache server. To start the Apache server, just type in service httpd start. So this have started the Apache server. Now we will also add the Apache httpd service to start at the boot time. So to do this, type in systemctl enable httpd now we will test our apache server so just open your web browser just type in localhost if you see the apache page this is the apache page testing page this means that your apache is installed correctly and now we will install mysql to install mysql we will be using the mariadb so just type in yum install mariadb hyphen y So your MariaDB is already installed here. If you don't have, if there was no MariaDB installed, it would have installed the MariaDB. So what we will do is we will start the MariaDB also. Typing service MariaDB start. And we will also enable this to start at boot. So I'll just type in systemctl enable. MariaDB. Now, once you have installed MariaDB, what you need to do is you need to set the root password. By default, there is no root password set for the MySQL. So just type in the command MySQL underscore secure underscore installation and hit enter. So currently, there is no root password. So for the first prompt, you'll just simply press enter. Second, it will ask you to set up the root password. Press Y and enter and enter your new root password. 
enter again it will ask you to remove anonymous users i'll remove it i'll if you want to allow root user to be logged in only from the local host then you'll have to select why if you don't if you want your root to be logged in from anywhere i'll spell select n remove test databases select y reload privileges select y. so your maria db is installed you can log in and check the if the sql is working properly just type in mysql type in u root type in b enter the password which you have set now your maria db is also working one more thing which you need to do is you need to edit some mysql configuration files which is present under slash etc slash my.conf so under the mysql d this one what we will do is we will add one line find address is equals to zero dot zero dot zero dot zero so this what it will do is it will allow the remote connections for your mysql database so once you save it just restart your uh, mariadb once again by typing service mariadb restart now we want to install apache the version of apache sorry now we will install php so the version of php which i am installing is php 7 the latest version uh, if you want some older version say 5.4 you can directly use the yum uh, install command and it will install it from the red hat repository but the latest version of uh, php is not available in the red hat repository so i will be installing php from source so, so we will download the php first from this uh, website php.net slash downloads will download the 7.2 tar.gz file just click on it it will download the file so i've already downloaded it so we'll go to the directory where it is downloaded and we'll start installing it so before installing please make sure that you have lib xml2 installed so you can type in command lib yum install lib xml2 uh, uh, you'll you'll need both lib xml2 as well as the lib xml2 devil so that's the reason i have uh, added an uh, star after it so that it should install all the libxml2 packages so it is libxml2 devil and libxml2 it's already installed so we'll move to the next step if you if in your system it is not installed you can install it and i'll go to the downloads directory so here we have the php downloaded you can unzip this first i'll remove already i have the old installation file present so i'll remove this i'll make a clean installation so just tar it by typing tar hyphen xzvf php so once it is extracted uh, we need to configure this first and then we need to build the php and then we need to install it so just type in php and go to the direct extracted directory and we'll type in this command so slash configure with apx2 and we can give the path of the ap access file and uh, with mysqli now if you are not aware where your ap access file is you can find it by typing the find 
copy this command. Here you can see it is present as a using bin apxx. So I'll type in my I'll use this command dot slash configure hyphen hyphen with apxx2 the path of the file and then hyphen hyphen with mysql like this so this will install configure the php with apache and mysql it will also install the mysql i uh, additional extensions which is required to connect my php to the mysql databases so if you have not installed the uh, libxml2 packages which i have shown in previous uh, step you'll get some error related to it so if you get an error just uh, install those packages once again so we'll wait till the configuration is finished so our configuration uh, is completed we'll build this by typing make so the make will take some time So our build is complete. Now we'll install it by typing make install. So our installation is complete. So now we need to copy the php.ini file to the locate correct location. So just type in this command. Copy php ini development to user local lib as php.ini. Now we need to do some uh, configuration checks if the php module is loaded in the Apache configuration file, and we need to add some. Uh, lines to the apache configuration file so we will edit the apache configuration file which is present in flash etc httpd conf httpd.conf so here you can search for php so here you can see that the load module php 7 module is loaded correctly we will at the end of the line we will insert uh, uh, this just insert these two lines. I'll place uh, all this in the description of the video. So this will allow to parse the uh, .php files as PHP inside Apache. So I'll insert it. I'll just save this and I'll restart my HTTP server. Service HTTP restart. So the HTTP is restarted now we will uh, test our configuration we will uh, test if the php is uh, installed correctly so just go to cd where www html so this is my document root for the apache so i'll create a file known as php info dot php and inside this file i'll type in php info and i'll just save this file now one more uh, configuration we need to do in the HTTP HTTP configuration file. So for the directory index, you should also try to add the directory index uh, 
directory index for the dot uh, index.php file. So I'll copy this piece and I'll just enter dot php. And once again uh, restart the Apache server. Now we'll go to the browser. We'll type in php, sorry, localhost slash php info.php. Let me check one minute. So we have not saved the PHP info file. I'll create once again. Once again, start the restart the Apache server, and I'll reload this. So, if you see the PHP is correctly installed, you can you'll see the PHP information. You can see whatever commands we were used; it is already populated here. You can see all the information regarding the extensions and all the, the PHP configuration files. Uh, so, in this way, you install Apache, MySQL, and PHP on Red Hat Enterprise Linux. Uh, I hope this was informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you are having any queries regarding the installation, you can feel free to uh, comment on the video. Comment on the video. Uh, all the steps and all the commands, uh, I'll place this in the description of the video. Once again, thanks for watching.